Uh, hey, uh, I have just finished the MDS, well, the, the time stages anyway. I've got a charity day tomorrow, but that doesn't really count. Um, and I'm, uh, I'm completely broken, to be honest. Um, uh, I, uh, I got a, I just developed a cold yesterday on the rest day, and I think, I have a feeling I've been fighting it since even before I came and I was taking lots of echinacea and stuff before I came and, and um, this weird beeswax stuff um, and uh, and I think maybe yeah maybe it was just fighting off just like wasn't the time you know I it was doing too much and then I think probably the rest day yesterday my body just kind of and after what happened on the long day I think it, it just came in hard like suddenly it was just like literally over the course of two minutes I was like oh I think I've got a cold <laughs> and um, my throat was saying it was and just feeling like shit. So last night was shit. Um, and that, today was the marathon day. Um, and I kind of, I had kind of changed my targets a little bit. Um, I came here wanting to top 200 and, and uh, I finished the long stage 96th overall and I was like, wouldn't it be amazing to keep hold of that? knowing that it would be a challenge. There's some really fast people in, you know, in and around there. Um, so my feet, I wasn't sure, you know, all through the rest of yesterday, I could barely walk, let alone run. Um, my feet are buggered, uh, my legs are buggered. And um, uh, just, but then um, went out pretty hard today. And, and I think like, it's funny, the, the foot pain thing, um, walking around it's really painful but then when you get running it's kind of like you have an initial bit of pain and then it just numbs I think you just you just numb the pain and you just then you just don't notice it so much there's too much else going on so um I actually didn't notice my feet at all today um but what I did notice was my freaking cold because um I couldn't breathe at all through my nose which and there was a fairly strong sandy breeze uh, for quite a lot of it, which meant that I was breathing in um, full gasps of dry, sandy air the whole time. So I had a really dry mouth, and um, which made me even thirstier than the normal. Um, but uh, uh, but yeah, it went went freaking hard. Uh, just uh, it was pretty. It was the flattest day for sure. It started off with some dunes, and there were a couple other sections of dunes and a few hills all, all along the way. But it was it was a runner's course today. Um, which was kind of cool. Like I, I held my poles for quite a lot of it, and just um, just got my head down, gunned it. Um, it was hard to tell because I set off the base. The top 150 people um, set off an hour and a half after everyone else. Um, and as we set off, we went straight into some, some, to some dunes, and um, everyone went hard. You know, they were going hard through the dunes, like, what are you doing? You know, we're never going to be able to sustain this. Um, but I thought, you know, I'd kind of, I kind of semi-sustained it and semi kind of, I didn't go overly hard in the dunes, but kind of just about sustained an okay position. But it, because it was in dunes, you couldn't really see everyone at once. And I had no idea at that point where it was in the pack. I kind of guessed maybe I was around 100 place. I didn't know. Um, and then, and then it got flat and I just ran um uh, but then it was really cool because after about half an hour we started passing people from the the the, the first wave oh, maybe it was a bit longer than half hour it felt like not very long at all um which was great because you uh just you, everyone's got their names on their back so i was just like hey richard hey claire hey blah and they'd all be like yeah go pete blah, blah, blah. so motivationally it was just awesome it was so cool and um and really kind of helped spur me on um then half first half marathon went down super quick it was like it wasn't much more than a couple of hours i think the first half marathon um and then uh and then things got hard so coming out so that was coming out the second checkpoint um we get into a big section of dunes the hills started um and uh yeah things got tough things slowed down a little bit um, but still plenty of flat to kind of open the legs out on. Um, it, um, it hurt a lot. Like I, uh, 
again it kind of it comes down to all the messages that are just buzzing through my head the whole time um you know a couple in particular that are just like Argh. um and uh every time things hurt just like oh, what does it matter it hurts now but it's um you know I'll, I'll feel great next week if i can really pull this off um so uh yeah the last after the last checkpoint we had eight and a half kilometers and i was like yeah great we could do eight and a half kilometers but then it was it was horrible actually it's really really horrible um uh train got a little bit tougher and i think i yeah i was struggling i was struggling but i think managed to keep hold of it I, it was hard to tell how many people were passing me how many people i was passing because it was just in amongst you know the rabble of of um of everyone else in the the first wave um but um so i still don't know it's a couple of hours now since come over the line uh, i still don't know where i finished overall um but super excited uh, to find out but finishing 446 which i'm dead chuffed with um yeah i think i've pushed myself a bit over a few of these days but i think today was the pinnacle i'm in that kind of like awkward ache kind of mood um yeah i've uh, i've left it all out there i think um and what every other day i brought a protein shake to recover and not today because i was like what do i have to recover for I've just got the charity station for i don't need to recover and um i need something <laughs> i need something but then ah uh, kev kev was talking about his food on the course and he's been eating things like skittles out on the course and like i've bought functional food i haven't bought nice food at all really and i was like oh man what i do for skills and he pulls out a bag of skills and he gives me a bag of skills and it was amazing it was almost as good in fact it was better than the coke yesterday because it had sugar in it Fucking <laughs> <laughs> idiots uh to be fair actually that coke zero was very nice i did very much enjoy it the exciting thing is that so we get this uh, i'll show you this card oh, yeah we got this card here which you stamp every time you take a water um, and you also stamp it when you get a can of coke so that was our can of coke there that's the stamp there from the can of coke yesterday but look it's mysteriously at the end of the today there's another can symbol which i don't know what it's gonna be it could be a can of coke it could be a can of beer uh but i'm very excited i'm also excited to get on the bus to the hotel tomorrow um things i want to eat and drink include cider i really like a cider it's like that strongbow advert is um is exactly what i want right now it is so hot today um and we just had the this side of the tent is closed down now but we've we were sat here for about an hour with the side of the tent open and it's the the breeze it's like a fan assisted oven the breeze is as hot as the sun uh with loads of sand um so um uh, uh, the G-Law's going to check on Andrew. Um, Andrew's, uh, Andrew's not very well. He's been peeing blood, um, which isn't a very good sign. It was thirsty work out there today. I think today, being so hot and being so ready for the pushing, um, the water situation was so hard out there. Um, we, uh, yeah, we had to... It's probably the, the closest I've been to being pretty thirsty and um i've got a couple of bottles now to last me to tomorrow and i really wish i had a bit more um especially with the cold i think you drink more when you got a cold anyway uh that's what i've got to say bye